Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I am the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be discussing what happened yesterday, uh, March 29th, and the outlook for the rest of the week, and go over a few stocks and a few articles that we have uh, posted on the website. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion and meant for information on educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Hit the red subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified when we go live with a new video. Also, go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers get first look at stocks we're going to be covering. Stocks like MMMEDF at 63 cents, ENZC at 0.014, ALPP at 7.5 cents, and Humble HMBL at just under 3 cents. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. For US and Canada, you enter 1 plus your area code and number, UK 44 plus your number, Switzerland 41 plus your number, Australia 61 plus your number. Never use 00 at the, uh, to start the uh, uh, the format when you enter. So it's never 001, 0044, 003, whatever. It's always country code first. And with that out of the way, let's dive right in here. Uh, folks, uh, Monday was an interesting day. Some uh, stuff that we covered over the weekend had, had good days. We saw green, uh, more green than red, which was, uh, which was good. Um, we talked about on uh, over the weekend, uh, we liked uh, ENZC, uh, EENF, BRLL, and RLTF. They all had a, a nice pop, so uh, we're happy about that. Go over here and add BRLL to this screen. Yeah, that one had a had a big day uh, on uh, last Friday, and we saw the continuation on Monday. So uh, happy about that. Um, RLF. TF, uh, this saw a continuation as well. Uh, Sympathy Play after uh, HGen released uh, positive uh, news. Uh, my colleague Chris Sandberg, uh, he came out with an article yesterday uh, talking about it and explaining uh, how uh, the news for HGen was, was positive for CYDY, RLFTF, and one that he uh, added here, AMPE. Um, <coughs> CYDY is a favorite of his. He's in, in love with that uh, uh, stock, so uh, he definitely uh, did the pros and cons of, of what's going on with HGN versus CYDY. Uh, we're just waiting on data from uh, CYDY. Uh, but on RLFTF, uh, the news was indeed uh, positive. Um, they had enrolled 196 patients in the trial. Uh, and it, of those, 127 patients were baseline with the high-flow nasal uh, versus 69 that were treated with mechanical or non-invasive ventilation. Uh, in the overall patient population, which was about two-thirds se severe, uh, there was a 48% chance of recovery in the placebo versus 71% chance of recovery in the active arm. So. Uh, Definitely uh, interesting results and uh, uh, happy to see uh, some of these uh, COVID treatment plays uh, bouncing. Um, what else? Uh, folks, uh, uh, Humble, uh, which has been a favorite of ours, uh, this one uh, week, uh, it, the ticker symbol change happened on, uh, on Friday. Folks, this is just simply, um, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news. 
Uh, so they were bidding it up prior to the uh, the official ticker uh, symbol change. Uh, once it went into effect, uh, you're just getting some profit taking. Uh, we talked about it last uh, week when it hit 249. Uh, it bounced to four bucks. Um, you know, guys, uh, you know, people are going to take money off the table in, in this market. So it's like, uh, you know, if you're looking at, uh, you know, your overall portfolio and if you're, you know, red in a couple of positions, but, you know, if you picked up some humble at 260, 275, it ran to $4, you're green on, uh, on that position or that addition to uh, what you bought, you know, you're going to sell it. Uh, it's just a fact. And, uh, you know, you're going to, tend to it's just a simple psychology you're going to tend to sell some winners uh, so you can hold on to some of your, your stocks that you're down in uh, we all do it um, I'm not saying it's the right way or, or, or what but uh, you know I know uh, people say don't sell your winners uh, trim your losers um, but you know again you have to do regular uh, portfolio allocation so uh, you know it's about trimming and, and, and taking money off the table where you see fit uh, sometimes it is cutting losses but uh, you know if you got some you know you know big losses like in a stock like ENZC I know one guy posted he's he bought it 60 cents uh, you know it, it just hit 20 cents uh, you know he's down uh, you know Two thirds, uh, you know, that's painful. Um, what do you do here? Um, we still think it's going back uh, higher. Um, we're waiting on catalysts. Uh, there's certainly uh, a lot of catalysts coming ahead. Uh, you know, we talked about in, in this article here, we, we uh, went over ENZC. Um, and, uh, you know, there's this tweet here from Godfather Capital and, uh, you know, basically he laid out the bull case, um, recent discoveries leading to new, uh, National Institute of Health, uh, funding application, which is Dr. Fauci's division and Dr. Fauci has been a, uh, big proponent of uh, HIV research, monoclonal antibodies. Uh, this is ENZC's wheelhouse. Uh, so uh, we think that they will get the funding. Uh, they're on track for a 10K this month. Uh, Audit of financials and uplisting. Uh, no more dilution. Uh, $50 million contract coming. Um, you know, late spring 2021, delivery of FDA nutraceutical. Um, and, uh, you know, company is, is getting ready to pre prepare a confidential presentation to strategic partners. So definitely an interesting play. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I, I don't like, uh, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. So if you bought in at 60, I think, you, you know, you got to add here. Um, but just don't get too heavy. Don't make it, you know, uh, too big of uh, your portfolio. So, you know, as I've said repeatedly here, you know, invest like a venture capitalist, try to own 10 to 20, you know, OTC penny stocks. Uh, this spreads out your risk. Uh, and, you know, if, if you had only, you know, five or 10% of your portfolio in ENZC, you know, and it was down this big, you wouldn't sweat it that much. So, uh, you know, and, and if you get free, free up capital, you can, you know, double up your position here. Um, you know, that's really why I really, uh, you know, suggest doing that. Uh, you know, if you start out with 10,000, you know, to invest, uh, right now, uh, you know, it's it's a tougher market. So if your normal, you know, initial buy was 500 bucks or a thousand, you know, cut it in half. Start with 250 or 500 bucks. Um, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just trying to give you guys sound money management techniques. Um, I've been, you know, trading pennies, you know, almost 30 years. I know this business. Uh, I've been able to last a, a long time. You know, yes, I've taken my licks. I've, I've lost money. But uh, overall, I'm way, way ahead. So, uh, you know, if, if that's what your goal is, uh, you know, this is how you want to invest. Um, you don't want to go in too heavy on, on any one or two stocks because there's so many things out of your control. Um, and, uh, you know, just diversify and uh you know all it takes is one or two uh to become you know 
a humble or an ALPP, you know, our subscribers are up 5,000% in ALPP, you know, over 10,000% in, in humble, you know, these are, you know, 50 baggers, 100 baggers, this is where you make big money. So, uh, you know, all it takes is one or two to become and, and you've made up for any of your losers. So uh, and, and look, we're going to have losers. It's just a, a fact of, uh, of investing. So, uh, you know, just just keep that in mind and, uh, you know, trade and invest accordingly. Uh, today, out with a, a new article on uh, four OTC stocks to invest in, GTVH, ILUS, INVU, and PSRU. Um, GTVH, uh, this was brought to our attention by uh, one of the best traders we know on Twitter, uh, BMO. Uh, definitely give him a follow at BMO Knows. Uh, he's got about 14,000 followers. He should have 10 times that uh, amount. Uh, he's uh, one of the more real traders. He's just investing his own capital. Um, he calls it like he sees it. And, uh, you know, this is the, the type of guy uh, uh, you want to uh, follow. So, uh, you know, again, you know, we're one resource here at Insider Financial, but, uh, you know, there's many other guys, uh, you know, that, that know what they're doing. Uh, you can go to our Twitter at uh, Insider Financial uh, and, uh, and check out uh, what we uh, uh, talk about there. Um, we have a, uh, a list uh, that you can uh, follow. So, uh, you know, we got uh, uh, our penny stocks list. So uh, we got a, a, a list of traders there that you could take a look at uh, and, uh, and, and follow. Um, these are, are some of the guys that uh, we think uh, know what they're doing. And this is a list that uh, we've curated and, and we uh, look at every day. So uh, definitely uh, check it out. Um, we don't vouch for everyone on the list, but, uh, you know, for instance, you know, we're, we're not a big fan of Tim Sykes. Uh, we think he's a BS artist, but he also does do some teaching resources, and we do want to hear what he has to say. So, uh you know, uh, he does do some short selling, so we don't like that. Um, but, you know, guys, uh, you know, you, you don't have blinders on. You know, uh, there's critics out there. There's critics of us. We listen to everyone, you know. Uh, uh, you can't, uh, you know, uh, go in and just say that everyone else is wrong and you're right, you know. Uh, if people have uh, other opinions that differ from us, we want to listen to why and 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 learn. You know, I, I don't know everything, and uh, you know this is uh, how you become successful in life is 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 having an open mind and uh, learning to earn. You know, I preach that over and over again. So uh, you know, keep an open mind, but you know, educate yourself and and follow some uh, simple guidelines. But uh, what we like about GTVH, it has a great share structure, um, only a market cap of uh, just uh, uh, what is it, 11 million. It's a low float play. Um, they're getting, uh, they just hired one of the top accounting and auditing firms. They're preparing for an uplisting. Uh, so uh, this, this one is definitely one uh, you want to have on your radar, GTVH. Um, number two is ILUS. Um, this has been a big runner of 2021, started at 0 .0015, uh, ran to just under 19 cents in February. And the CEO, Nicholas Link, uh, he's, off, he's embarking on a, on a global M&A spree. Uh, he's looking to uh, uh, really make something with ILUS. Uh, and, uh, you know, the stock is consolidating here. Uh, and we think uh, we get above the... the the highs of, of 18 cents and it's blue skies overhead so uh, this is definitely one uh, you want to take a look at uh, next one is INVU uh, this is a crypto play uh, running on the back of Bitcoin's record run uh, they just reported record numbers for February uh, five and a half million gross revenue 1.9 million in net income 30% operating margin, uh, and they're holding more than a million in uh, Bitcoin and, and digital currencies on their balance sheet. 
they just bought one million worth of NDAU. Uh, this is the world's first adaptive digital currency, so uh, certainly a, an interesting play there. And uh, you know, if you want to be invested in the crypto space, uh, Bitcoin gets above sixty thousand, makes new highs. Uh, it's going to bring uh, all these other uh, crypto plays along with it. Uh, OTC stock number four is PSRU. Uh, we like this one because this is a combination crypto, uh, NFT, non-fungible tokens, and uh, professional sports. Uh, they just signed a deal with two NFT auction sites in order to manage the sales of its NFT portfolio. Um, and it has, uh, it's affiliated with the ABA. It has uh, two U.S. teams, uh, the Beverly Hills Majestics and Hollywood Action. Uh, Cedric Entertainer, he did a shout out uh, uh, to them. Uh, Listen up, America. The ABA is back, but it's going to Canada. Check this out. What I'm trying to tell you is Valiant Eagle has signed in a deal, an exclusive deal with the American Basketball Association to launch the ABA in Canada, right? Which includes the exclusive rights to use the ABA branding. That's the old Dr. J, Moses Malone, them, you know, to develop the league, that old ABA to bring it back. Valiant Eagles ticker is PSRU. So please contact them at valianteagle.net. For inquiries, you're interested in hooping, you're interested in being a member or owner of a team or something, contact them at valianteagle.net. All right? We're doing build basketball in Canada and then, you know, let it grow all around the world, just like the other leagues. Y'all know how we do it. All right, then. I'll holler. <laughs> nice shout out there from Cedric the Entertainer. Uh, best part about uh, PSRU is the current market up just $4 million. So uh, it won't take much to get PSRU going, uh, just like it did uh, last October when it spiked 684% in, uh, in one day. Uh, you see this spike here. Oh, oh this back here. Uh, back in, uh, when was this? Oh, actually, it says September 30th, six, uh, 684%. So... Uh, Great move there, and uh, you know when you got these low flow, low market cap plays, this is the type of spikes that you can expect with uh, with a stock like PSRU. Um, overall, good start to the week. Uh, we know a lot of people are frustrated uh, with what's going on in in the OTC markets, but you know there's always opportunities. Uh, we're always on the hunt for uh, new. Uh, uh, stock uh, profiles that uh, have never been seen before. Uh, we're always doing our research here um, because there's always new runners. Uh, you know, we're always on the hunt for the next humble uh, ENZC ALPP. You know, you know the fact of the matter is, you know, I know a lot of people get frustrated or mad at humble what happened yesterday or you know, but look, guys, the easy money has already been made here. You know, for a lot of these plays, the easy money's already been made. You got to find fresh new uh, tickers. You know, stocks that haven't run yet that uh, are getting ready to run. That they have new management, have low floats, uh, have have you know are putting catalysts uh, in play. Uh, this is what you got to be looking for. You know, this is where you make the big money. You know, uh, you know, for for humble, you know, to make uh, ten times your money, it's got to go to thirty two bucks. Um, you know, I'm not a prognosticator. I don't have a crystal ball. Or is it going there? I have no idea. You know, it depends on, you know, does Brian Foote and if they can execute. Uh, but, you know, at that price, they'll have a $30 billion market cap. So, uh, you know, they got to be bringing in big revenues. They got to have much more than an app uh, at those levels. So, uh, you know, you always have to call it like you see it, folks. Uh, you know, I really hate, uh, you know, these folks that are just constantly pumping and, and saying everything's going to the moon. Um, but with that being said, it's being done effectively with uh, LTNC. Look, uh, I, I don't get it. It's got the stop sign. Um, to me, it's got BS written all over it. But, you know, Stan, the trading man, he's got 100,000 followers. He's pumping it, you know, religiously. And, you know, folks are buying into it. So uh, I hope it uh, goes well. I hope no one loses money. And uh, I, I hope uh, everyone is successful with it. But uh, we're not touching it. Uh, and uh, we're not going to recommend it to our subscribers. So uh, good luck to all there. Um, it's, it's so far it's worked out, and uh, hopefully uh, 
uh, you know, there is no uh, trading suspension down the road or anything. So, uh, you know, there's no filings no, uh, and there, you know, that's a very bad sign. Um, folks, I think that's about it. Um, on the hunt, it's a short trading week. We uh, only got, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, only three more days left. Uh, I like the action yesterday. Uh, I think going to do another. Uh, I'm, I'm, I got a few things on my radar. Uh, maybe do another alert uh, tomorrow at the bell. Uh, we'll see how uh, today's price action is uh, if, uh, if that's uh, what we do. But uh, right now, you got to be more selective. You can't be playing everything. Uh, you just got to got to really pick your spots, folks. And, uh, you know, that's what you got to do here in these tough markets. So, uh, you know, yesterday was a positive, mostly green, uh, but again, not the triple digit runs uh, that we're used to on a daily, you know, that we were getting. So a uh, little, it is tougher to make money, but uh, we keep persevering and you got to keep going because you never know when the market's going to turn, you're going to catch those runners. Uh, so, uh got to keep trying and and again if you're doing the diversification 10 to 20 uh, penny stocks across your portfolio you won't get hurt uh, and uh, you'll you'll catch some of these runners so uh, with that being said wish everyone a profitable trading day and I'll be coming live to you tomorrow with a uh, new video and if we have a new alert make sure you are signed up at signup.insiderfinancial.com you don't want to miss our next alert uh, we only uh, give them to subscribers only we don't post on social media um, after all the the catalysts that we see are in play then we then uh, come out with an article and video uh, you know a few weeks later uh, for uh, regular readers so uh, you, know, you want to get the uh, early jump uh, you got to go to sign up.insiderfinancial.com with that being said uh, again uh, talk to you everyone soon uh, remember with COVID stay safe social distance wear a mask get your vaccine get the jab and hopefully we're uh, back to normal by uh, the summer Thank you and take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.